Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to learn about toast in Android. I'll just give you a brief idea about what a toast is. In Android, a toast provides simple feedback about an operation in a small pop-up. And this pop-up cannot be swiped away or like closed. It will stay on the screen according to the duration that you have selected. And it only fills the amount of space required for the message. So it will stay on the screen for a fixed duration and will automatically disappear after a timeout. And there is a very good alternative to using toast. Like if your app is in the foreground, then you can consider using a snack bar instead of using a toast because snack bars include user actionable options. Like you can provide an actionable button along with the small pop-up feedback, which can provide a better app experience. And also you can close the snack bar pop up by swiping away which is not possible with toast anyways let's let us just see how toast works so i'll just create one blank project with a empty activity now get into the layout of the main activity here instead of having a text view we'll just have a button so that when we click on the button the toast is displayed so i'll just make some changes here and uh, I'll define one ID so that we can use the same ID to refer to this view from the Java class. All right, then let's just define the button that is toast button and then find the view by using the ID toast underscore button. And to use this, we'll have to import the class. So just quickly do that. Then we'll use a set on click listener on this button. Then under the bracket new space view. And then you can just hit enter and on click method will be created. So under this we'll create a context that is activity context. And here we'll need to get the context of the application. So we'll just use the method get application context because our toast needs a context to run and this context can be your app or an activity then let's just define one text that you want to use with the toast then you'll have to define the duration with toast we have two options that is length underscore short and the second is length underscore long needless to define the meaning of these two Then we'll just define the toast object and then to make the toast toast dot make text method. Now this make text method takes three parameters. First is the context. Second is the text that you want to display with the toast and the third is the duration. And now to display this toast, just use the show method. All right, then just run your activity. And you click on the button and uh, the text is displayed or the toast is displayed. You can change the duration to short. Then run the app and you can see the difference. So the method that we have followed is a very lengthy one and if you don't want to hold on to the toast object you can just chain your methods into one simple line that is toast dot make text and the context of the activity is main activity dot this then define the text and the final part is the duration so toast dot length underscore long and then just use the show method to show the toast now run the activity and it works now if you just want to know more about the toast uh, it was added in the api level one and it can only show a pop-up 
with some text it cannot be used to perform any action based on the user input it cannot be dismissed by the swiping it is only good to show info messages to the user you can consider using snack bar instead of toast which was added later in the api level 23 i'm going to make a video on snack bar very soon there we are going to compare the difference between a toast and a snack bar and when you should use which one so anyways this is it for this video thanks for watching